Hello, you're welcome. Given that x over 21 plus x over 77 plus x over 165 plus x over 285 equals 100, then finding the value of x from here, we have x comma here. So let's take it out and uh, we have x into bracket. This will remain 1 over 21 plus here remain 1 over 77 then plus 1 over 165 plus 1 over 285 then close bracket equals to 200 and from here we can factor this 21 or everything in the denominator here we factor it and uh, this give us x into bracket 1 over 21 can be written as 327 then plus 1 over 77 written as 7 times 11. Then plus 1 over 165 written as 11 times 15. Then plus 1 over 285 written as 15 times 19. Then close bracket equals to 200. And uh, in the next step, we have something when we have uh, 1 over AB, 1 over AB, we can write this as 1 over B minus A multiplied by 1 over A minus 1 over B. So instead of writing 1 over AB, we can equally write 1 over B minus A times 1 over a minus 1 over b. How? Oh, because from here, this bracket, by the time we find the SM, SM is AB. And A goes in AB, that's B, B times 1, B minus B goes in AB, that's A, A times 1, that's A. And then we multiply by B minus A. We discover that B minus A will cancel each other here. And then what we have is T1 over AB. So now, instead of writing 1 over a b, let's write 1 over b minus a into bracket 1 over a minus 1 over b. So this particular equation can be written again as x into bracket 1 over, so this is like a now, this is b. So b minus a, that's 7 minus 3, 7 minus 3 into bracket 1 over 3, that's 1 over a minus 1 over b, 1 over 7. So that's for the first one. The second one here too, we have plus. Here we have 1 over 11 minus 7. Then into bracket 1 over 7 minus 1 over 11. Also plus. What we have here, we have 1 over 15 minus 11. Then into bracket 1 over 11 minus 1 over 15. Then also from here we have plus 1 over 19 minus 15. Then multiply by 1 over 15 minus 1 over 19. Then close bracket. Let's put this in bracket because x is multiplying everything. Then close the bracket here which is equals to 200. And uh, in the next step, we can subtract what we have here. Then, this will give us x open bracket. We are going to have 1 over 4 here. 7 minus 3, 1 over 4. That's 1 over 4 into bracket here. What we have is 1 over 3 minus 1 over 7. Then let's leave it that way. Also plus... Here, 11 minus 7, that's T4, that's 1 over 4, into bracket 1 over 7 minus 1 over 11, and also plus, here as well, we have 1 over 4, into bracket 1 over 11 minus 1 over 15. Then, also from here, we also have 19 minus 15, that's T4, so we have plus... 1 over 4, open bracket, 1 over 15, 
minus 1 over 19 and close bracket equals to 200. Now, from here, we discover that we have a 1 over 4 common here too. So let's factor it out and this will be x multiplied by 1 over 4 then into bracket what we have left inside we can write that without bracket that's 1 over 3 minus 1 over 7 then also plus 1 over 7 here minus 1 over 11 also plus 1 over 11 minus 1 over 15 also plus 1 over 15 then minus 1 over 19 close bracket which is equals to 200 equals to 200 from here then in the next step let's write equals to 200 here so equals to 200 then from here we discover that we have minus 1 over 7 plus 1 over 7 cancel each other also from here minus 1 over 11 plus 1 over 11 cancel out minus 1 over 15 plus 1 over 15 cancel out so outside there x times 1 over 4 that's the same thing as x over 4 then open bracket what we have left here is 1 over 3 then minus 1 over 19 which is equals to 200 then by the time we simplify the bracket SCM in the bracket there we give us 57 so that means we have x over 4 into bracket SCM 57 3 going 57 that's 19 times 1 that's 19 minus 19 going 57 that's 3 3 times 1 is 3 equals to 200 then when we subtract this this gives us x over 4 into bracket that's multiply by subtract this give us 16 over 57 equals to 200 and then from here 4 we go here 1 4 go here 4 so we have x times 4 that's 4x so we have 4x over 57 equals to 200 then by the time we cross multiply from here then we multiply this over 1 here, 4x times 1, that's still 4x, which is equals to 57 multiplied by 200, that's 200 times 57. And from here, we can divide both sides by 4, divide this side by 4, divide this side by 4, and 4 we cancel for here, remain x. Of course, 4 goes in 200, that's 50. We have 50 multiplied by 57. And 50 multiplied by 57 will give us 2850. So, therefore, x equals to 2850 from here. So, here we have the value of x in this our given problem. Thank you for watching. Please share this video, subscribe to my channel, give it a thumbs up, and then turn on the notification bell. See you in the next class, and bye for now.